depression is real. And a wise man once said that depression is your body's way of saying that it's tired of living the life that you keep forcing it to believe and the lie that you keep telling it. So stop telling the lie and start with your kids and your wife and tell them that you don't like the gifts that they've been getting you. Are you tired of back massagers? That guy is. Tired of socks? What about mugs that say world's greatest dad? I know I'm tired of that one. Do yourself a favor and tell your family about fan chest and start getting gifts that you deserve. Do your dad a favor before he blows us. Never mind. That guy's creepy. Fan chest. Copy the link in the description for a discount. And don't say Okoye Media never gave you nothing, even though I didn't. Fan chest. What's up, people? Uh, on this first play, you're going to see Jalen Smith, you know, is, is, is actually playing sort of like the will here. Uh, Van Der Esch does a good job of just like pancaking this guy, and Jalen just cleans it up real good. But, um, you know, I've been watching a lot of film on both these guys. I'm doing a film on Van Der Esch soon as well. Uh, and, and the thing that I've noticed is that Jalen is, you know, he's, he just flashes almost on every play. Even when he doesn't make a play, you, you can see clearly that he's special. You know, it's, it's hard not to watch the guy. Like, look at look at how he just breaks things up. He definitely came ready for the playoffs. Um, you know, I, I, I was looking at this game a little bit differently during the, uh, you know, during the game. And right after, I was a little more emotional. But during this time of the year, I'm able to kind of be as objective as possible. And um, Jalen was one of the uh, players that, that, that made me say, I have to make a video on this guy. He just, he did so much. And I thought that. The, the loss of Sean Lee last year, I thought it would, you know, be a lot more evident than it was. And, and the reason it wasn't as impactful as I thought is because of Jalen Smith. He stepped up. He did what he's supposed to do. He put his big boy draws on and he just came to play uh, every game, every game. And once that brace came off last year, he just became a different guy. But this play shows his instinct. He, he not only, you know, plays with the tenacity that he played with in his rookie year, but his instincts and his, his, his IQ is definitely there. He knows what he's doing. He, he knows what he's doing. And I like that about him. And then he's a freakish athlete. You know, he's always the first guy to the ball when he has an opportunity. He's that first guy to get to the ball. It's very hard to do. Look at that. He jumps out there like Jordan and knocks that ball out of the air. I know there's going to be a conversation soon about whether or not he should get paid, man. You 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 got to pay Jalen Smith. You know, when when it's time, he should be mentioned amongst the highest paid linebackers or, or players at his position because I don't even think he really has a position. And if you if you want to just hear me out real quick, but you know, he could put his hand down. You know, as a defensive end, he, he did that in college. He can do that now. If you when you see some of his uh block shedding like you see how he sheds this block here is just linemen are too slow and, and not strong enough and explosive enough to deal with him and running backs and tight ends is just not fair he'll he'll kill a tight end if you if you try to plug the gap with a tight end it's almost like he doesn't even see him you know he just runs through him he doesn't even feel him or see him he's just that strong man his range look at the range and how well he plays in space he gets underneath that dig route and then he chases down the flat like, he, look look at how he gets to the ball and how he drives and finishes. That's what you want. Look at him. He, look at him. Boom. Knocks the shit out of people like Roy Williams, man. He, is actually, he actually gives me the same, that same feeling when he's on the field that I had when I, when I watched Roy Williams play. Like, he's going to knock somebody out, number one. And two, I was just waiting for Roy Williams to get into the screen, man, because he KOs people all day long. I was waiting to see 31 flash into the screen. Now I'll wait to see 54 because I know he's coming guns blazing and he's killing something, man. You know, and he wants to. Uh, Des Bryant said that his rookie year. He said, yo, you can tell he wants to, you know, he wants to get there. When he gets there, he, he wants to hit already. You can tell. And uh, you can see that in the way he plays. He's looking to kill something when he gets out there, man. And I, I love the way he plays. I love the way he hits. Um, there's a lot that goes into being a good linebacker in this league, man. You got speed is just one thing you know yeah you can hit if you're 240 and you run around you know and you run into another man 
yeah, you should be able to hit them, but the 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 impact of those blows is just a little different. Tone setting hits is what I'm talking about. Like he sets the tone when he hits a lineman. They know we're coming to play football and we're gonna be here all day. You know, and a lot of linebackers come with that physicality and tenacity. A lot of them have that. You know, a lot of especially middle linebackers, they have it. You know, if you're gonna be a run stopping linebacker, you better be physical. But beyond being physical, he flows to the ball at the will when he has to, and he can cover. And, you know, he can cover a lot better than most linebackers. Both he and LVE have that trait. I think we have two of the better covering linebackers in the league, along with the fact that they play the run pretty damn good. I think LVE, you know, is, is getting a little bit better. He has a couple of things he needs to work on. But for the most part, you know, he's he's solid when it comes to the run. Like both he and Jalen Smith get to the ball like nobody's business. It's almost like they have a bet, you know, on who's going to, make the most tackles each game because they're both driving to the ball like a bat out of hell. And I think we've used LVE a lot more in coverage than anything else. But Jalen, because of his versatility, we do a lot more with him. Like he, I, you know, you're going to see he's going to pass rush a lot more than uh, LVE does this year. And I'm going to do a film on LVE as well. Don't, don't worry. But I had to do uh, Jalen Smith first because of the way uh, the way he plays, man, uh, he flashes on the screen. So I felt like there was no other player more deserving than him in regards to, you know, the, these types of accolades and, and this type of uh, homage, if you will. man. Um, but when it comes time to pay this man, we better not Roy Williams him or Des Bryant him. Where I, what I mean is like, you know, blackball him out of the out of the silver and blue. We've done that to a few players. Um, if there's a knock that I have on the organization, That'd be it. You know, we like to give guys second chances who don't deserve it due to the leverage that I think that that their uh, their uh, transgressions, if you will, brings, you know, like the the Greg Hardy's of the world, the Randy Gregory's. We want to give those guys second chances. And I'm not going to say Randy Gregory doesn't deserve, deserve a check, second chance because I do. I'm rooting for him uh, and even David Irving. But um, what I'm saying is we like leverage. You know, it, it looks good when, when you see a guy. Um, like Jerry Jones, bring in those types of guys. It looks like we're just, you know, open-minded when really it's about, you know, getting, buying low and selling high. It's getting a better quality player at a discount price due to some off-field issues that we think we can absorb because of the size and the robustness of our brand. Um, you know, we, we do that with guys. But we've also let a lot of guys who didn't deserve to leave here leave due to, reasons unbeknownst to me but they're a lot less impactful than some of the things we let slide but you know if you just pay attention here just i have to point out this play Jalen is not supposed to make this play number one he's not supposed to be in it but then he rips at the ball at the end that's just he's just a freak man he has he has uh elite athleticism if you if you look here man you know the, in space it doesn't matter if you're a receiver you're not juking him you're not getting away from him but um i just want to i want us to to, to, to keep this guy around for the next 10, 15 years. He's so young that I think, you know, if he, if he plays till he's 36, 37, uh, that's not far-fetched, man. He's, he's one of those guys, you know, a throwback, like a Ray Lewis type guy, you know, where, you know, he loves football. He's, he wants to play. Yeah, he's going to make his money, but uh, I think he, he's one of those guys that loves to play. And he's going to be manning this, this defense for quite some time, man quite some time. Jalen Smith, welcome to the Cowboys. I mean, really welcome. And uh, I know I was a little hard on him his rookie year due to the fact that I, I, I was anxious to see him return to form. I won't lie about that. I wanted to see him get back to the Jalen that we saw in Notre Dame, and I think now he's there. Now he's there. He hates the Eagles just as much as I do. I think I hate him a little bit more because I'm in Philly, so I have to rumble these fans a little bit more than uh, Jalen does. He only has to see him twice a year. I see him every day, so yeah, I think I, I think I got him beat in that category and that category alone. But other than that, you know, he's a pleasure to watch. He's a pleasure to watch. The way look look at look 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 the tight end cannot block this guy. Like you put a tight end in front of him, it's like you know he's like fuck out of here, man. Like go ahead, you know you can't do nothing with him, man. And uh, that I love about him. If you run right at him, it's nothing happening. Your best bet is to run away away from him. But who can run away from somebody who rallies to the ball like this? Like. Who can run away from him? He covers this guy, and then he'll go find the ball and rip at it and, and try to rip your head off. You know, he swarms you. 
there's just nothing that you can do with him. He, he covers well and he plays the ball well. He, he he needs a little bit work on, you know, forcing a little bit more turnovers because he's always in position. Like he was in position there. He just was slightly out of step. I think he, he didn't look for the ball because he couldn't feel Goddard on that play. But, you know, other than that, and he's a linebacker. So, you know, other than that, you know, kudos to Jalen. You know, you're not you're not exposing him. You're not playing with him. And uh, if you run, like I said, anywhere near him, uh, he's in there, you know. He's in there. That was a sack there. Um, just great scheme on on Marinelli's and, and and Chris Richard's part. But when you go to the perimeter, just pay attention to how fast he closes to the outside. Like he gets out there quick. Everybody knows this play. He was shielded off and screened off, and then Kamara, you know, get, get you know gets held up just a little bit, just enough for Jalen to get out there. But that this this is elite level range. This is an elite play. Most linebackers can't make this play. Most of them can't, and, and it's just because it, the wheels that it takes. And then getting there, yeah, if you get there, some linebackers might have gotten there, but once they get there, do they have enough oomph to stop Kamara cold in his tracks like that? I don't know. It's not too many, you know. Now, that spin move right there was dangerous right there, but uh, it's just not too many that can do that. It's you know, power at the point of attack. Look at how he pushes that lineman back and forces Kamara to take that stutter step. Yeah, he, he, he drives him out of balance, balance but... Yeah, his suddenness. Linemen don't want to deal with him because he's strong and he has a suddenness. Like, he almost bends that guy in half and he stops 71 cold in his tracks. These guys have him outweighed by sometimes 100 pounds. 100 pounds. And he's coming. And you don't want him to be the second guy in because when he's the second guy in he does that, he's going to knock you out. Everybody knows about that big hit that he had on Kamara. But he does that all day long. He knocks the shit out of everybody. This is another elite level play. Like, he takes a poor angle. He has to come down, drive down, take the wrong, you know, spin around and then still have enough velocity and momentum to still make a hit like that. Like that is amazing work. And if he doesn't get mentioned in the category as the at least one of the, the top linebackers, if not the top linebacker, linebacker in the NFC, then something's wrong. I mean, I know you have Luke Keekley and those guys out there. Uh, Luke Keekley's good. He's good. But I can't say, and I don't think any of you can say that, hey, if you had Jalen Smith and, you, and Luke Keekley to choose from, you would you would hands down choose Luke. I don't think you could. I would definitely put Jalen in that conversation. And in about a year or so, I don't think Luke Keekley would even be mentioned in the same breath as a Jalen because Jalen Smith doesn't get injured every year. And I'm not coming at you, Luke. I like you. But uh, Jalen, you know, Jalen is just a different type of athlete, man. He's a different animal. He is. He's a nasty dude, man. He's a nasty dude. I like that about him, man. So, with that said, you know, you got you have linebackers like uh, Levante David, I think his name is, number 54 from Tampa Bay. He's a great coverage linebacker. He, he, does, he does play the run okay, but he uses his speed to do so. But I haven't seen linebackers who, who use their speed and strength and explosiveness, like the combination of the three, the way Jalen is. I haven't seen it. I mean, Luke is a freakish athlete, but even even Luke, Luke doesn't have this type of, uh, you know, explosion to to the ball. Like the way he gets to the ball is just a nightmare. I think he has a step on Luke. I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. And I'm not saying it because I'm a fanboy. I just I haven't seen Luke do this. He's like a combination of all three of those guys over there in Carolina. He has the 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 he plays behind the line like a Thomas Davis. He has the hidden power of a Thomas Davis. He hits like a safety, like Thomas Davis. He has the the ability to shed blocks and diagnose plays and good instincts like a Luke Kinkley and athleticism like a Luke Kinkley. And then uh, he he covers like Shaq Thompson. So you know he's like all three of those guys rat, rolled into one player. And I I can't find I can't name a middle linebacker better than Jalen Smith right now. I can't. So when, it, when that time comes, which should be soon, he should be mentioned amongst the, the conversation of the top paid linebackers in this game. And it should remain that way for as long as he's playing like this, man. Um, my hat goes off to any man who gets in there and plays this way. But to play this way after that injury, and I don't even like mentioning the injury because it's kind of like it kind of like takes away from him. It's like, you know, when people say you're smart, you mean smart for what? Like, you know, am I not supposed to be? You know, he's supposed to be a great player, not despite the injury. He's just a great player. Forget the injury. But if you're going to throw that in there, if you look at that injury, if you ever did, oh, man, 
watching the man come back from that and do this type of uh, uh, shit, like playing with this type of reckless abandonment, you know, is 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 fun to watch. He cannot be blocked. He plays around in the mess. I said that he needs to stop standing around the pile. And instead of last year, I said that. But instead of standing around the pile, what he does now is he he just he destroys the pile or creates the pile. Like he creates messes, man. He creates accident, car accidents, play after play, and he finds the ball like he like it was you know like it was his his, his child like it's connected to him or he has GPS or something, man. But he will get there, and when he gets there, he brings the 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 heat. That's what you want in a linebacker. Like I said, he has those coverage ability. Even though LV got held like a motherfucker there, you see that. But uh, he has the coverage ability that you want in, in, in a linebacker. You want him to be able to flow. He covers like a safety or even like a like a big ass corner. He has he has you know just a different type of uh, ability when it comes to covering. But he can get in there and, and play dirty too. You know here you see how he just makes sure he gets down to that perimeter. He just he has educated feet, man. He, he cuts through there like it's nothing. There he just takes on his blocker the way he's supposed to, and he's not supposed to make that tackle. He was just setting the edge and still makes the tackle. You know, it's just different. Here he shows his patience. You know, AP was going to that front side, and he counters on that back end. I don't know why the Redskins always run, run that, run that uh, counter trap. They've been running that since Joe, just since the Gibbs era, but uh, they still run it. It's almost like the Snyder said, listen, man, you got to keep it in there. You saw that dance move. But, um, yeah, I haven't seen players uh, – Play like this, man. I haven't seen anybody play like Jalen. Some of the uh, the things you hear when you're talking about the Cowboys, like you hear we're building a doomsday defense. We're getting to a point where, um, you know, we, we're going to have, like, talent, the more talent, especially this year, than we've had in quite some time. And he's the key to that. Like, his play is going to determine whether or not we make it where we're trying to go this year. And that's evident. There's no doubt about it. We go as far as Jalen takes us, and uh, you should pay this man. You should pay this man. Uh, some people are going to say that about LVE, too, when that time comes. And uh, As I said, this this isn't a knock on LVE or anyone else, but look at how he covers on this play. Look at this. He's covering a receiver and plays on the ball like a corner. Look at that. Where do you see linebackers doing that shit? I don't see it. That was amazing. He was step for step with him, and then you know the way he the way he went after that ball was just you know hat goes off to you, man. That you can't teach that shit. You know he he finishes. Uh, that's that's what it's about. Uh, like I said, this is a, this isn't a knock on LVE though. LVE though, I think he's gonna get his money too. But uh, Jalen Smith should definitely be the highest paid middle linebacker in the game. Period. Period. Get this man his money when that time comes. Yes, I'm saying it a year ahead of time, two years ahead of time. So what? Give him his bread. You know, he does everything. The deadly Fs. He filled, he flowed, he finished. You know, he does it, you know. He, he, he. And then look at how he played against uh, uh, Watson. Man. He, he made him look pedestrian. He did. You know, even though, yeah, they, they beat us. You know, it wasn't because Watson had an easy night. You know, it wasn't that. He made plays when he needed to make plays. But look at that. You cannot, like, he's running through a mess, full speed, cutting, Linemen are too slow. He's just going to weave past this guy. All right, cool. And then he, we want to block him with a receiver or a tight end. He doesn't even feel him. Like, he didn't decelerate at all. How is he still the first person to the ball when two people tried to cut him off that he had to outrun or, or, or run away from? It's hard, man. He held up the seam here, and he's always looking underneath anyway. He's, he, he holds his, his responsibility, and then he drives down on the underneath pass that he, know you're gonna, he knows you're going to take. And just watching the way he plays, it's, it's infectious. I think the entire defense is going to start, you know, upticking next year uh, due to the way he hustles and, and gets to the ball, man. That was hustle and flow. This play, everybody already knows what this play is. This is elite-level athleticism. This is what you want any player. Forget it being a linebacker. That reminded me of uh, Jeff Heath versus uh, the Raiders when he knocked the shit out of Carr at the end of the game and for, forced that uh fumble touchback and that play reminded me of that but like I said Jalen uh, he does things on the field that you don't see anybody else doing and like like this here check this out all right he's in the passing lane he cuts out of the passing lane and then jumps back in it like 
Who does that? Who does that? Show me the film. Point it out. Tell me the player. Tell me the game. I'll go watch it. I'll pull it up and I will correct myself because you guys know that's one thing about me. I have accountability, man. If, if I'm saying something that's inaccurate, prove it. Prove it. But look at this. Look at his pass rushing ability. Now watch him and Tank. They're doing the same shit. Look at that. It's a mirror airman. Just after he's going through two people. Non-stop. No loss of momentum. That is fucking crazy. You see that? You see that? Look at this shit. Okay. Now, if you're telling me that he shouldn't be paid after doing some shit like that, like that's just crazy, man. That's crazy. You're going to pay Tank? <laughs> Look at what he just did, though. That, I mean, come on. Pay this man. It's too slow, fat boy. You can't get to him, man. There's nothing you can do here, man. They're just making me come out of my character. I was trying to be articulate and try to, you know, try to stay within my mold here because I don't want to offend nobody. But God damn, this dude nasty, man. Pay this man. I mean, pay Tank and those guys too, but come on. That was amazing. Like, I like watching football again because I like watching this dude. I just want to see what he's going to do next, man. I want to see what he's going to do next. I don't win, lose, or draw. If I'm watching 54, I know I'm about to see something. Look at that. He got to break his back. And he's so polite about it. Like, he try to hurt you, but he ain't cursing you out. He ain't nowhere near as vulgar as me. But in, in the back of his mind, he thinks like Greg Lloyd, man. Like, he... He, he talks real articulate. He's, he's real, you know, polished. He sounds real nice. But nobody runs around and tries to kill like that unless they're, you know, evil son of a bitch. No, no pun intended either, Jalen. I like it. Like, keep killing them. Kill all day. Kill everything moving. Roy Williams was that type of guy. He would act like he's nice. He smiles. He's laughing. He's joking. But he's trying to knock the snot out of your kid. That's what he's doing. So, you know, he got a demented way of playing football. He's not just trying to tackle you. He wants you to feel it. He wants your kids to feel it. He's trying to knock the sperm out your nose, man. Like, I like that. I like it. I just can't get enough of it, man. I, I, I like watching football because of the way these guys play. So, for me, ah, uh, man, Jalen, um, can't wait for this year. I hope that, you know, you get everything that you deserve. You know, Russell Wilson didn't know what hit him there. But I hope you get everything you deserve when that time comes, man. Um, and, and, you know, I hope that you, you, you uh, get the accolades that you deserve this year because you should have went to a Pro Bowl last year. That's just my opinion. You know, I, I didn't see any linebackers that were clear cut better than him last year in the NFC. I just didn't see it. But should have made his Pro Bowl last year. He definitely will make one this year. His name is there. You know, his ability is there. But he and LVE, that combination with Sean Lee and Joe Thomas uh, out there is just, you know, different. Look at this range. Look at this range. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at how he drives on that ball. And then when he gets there, he if he touches you, you're going down. There's not no, uh, man, Jalen got cut up or, you know, poor form on that tackle. If he touches you, it's a wrap. Just call it a day. Call it a day. Let's start over. Let's start from the drawing board. You know, he knows how to play linebacker. Look at that. He uses his shoulder, gets in there, stops that in his tracks, plugs it, and makes the tackle. He's not supposed to make the tackle there. He's just supposed to fill his gap. And then someone else, the, the, the will is supposed to come in there and make that tackle. He does it all. He does both. Jalen, Jalen, and he has his guys back. Like, he tells Tank, yeah, you can take that inside move if you want to. Because if Eli's slow ass, you know, bleeds out, I'm going to kill him. And that's exactly what he did, dude, too. You know, you don't even want to bleed out against him. You don't want to catch the ball and stand up against him. You don't want to run anywhere near him. You can't run away from him. His pursuit angles are crazy. Like, what can you do against Jalen Smith other than say, hey, look, good play, man. Good hit. Please don't do it again. Cam thinks he's going to get out of here. And he usually, this would have been a touchdown anywhere else. Cam was like nasty like that. Boom. He just puts his ass down. Like, look, come on, man. Stop it. Stop trying that shit. Like, don't do it again. You know what I mean? That's Jalen for you. Even though I think McCaffrey kind of got us. You know, he, he was doing that to everybody on our team. Uh, McCaffrey's like a slippery dude, but uh, other than that, man, hats go off to you, Jayla. Peace.